All right, let's walk around the trike and I'm going to show you how I have everything set up. Come on, Myrtle, let's go. So the big deal for this tour is I'm just getting a lot more support than I normally do. HP has given me a new frame. Uh, the, my old frame was 11 years old. It had 60,000 miles on it and they felt like with such a big tour that it was fitting to start fresh with a new frame. In the last six months they have given me a new seat. I have this gorgeous seat. They've given me new fenders and two extra batteries for my electric assist. And so of course the other big thing is I'm using a trailer for this tour which I don't normally do. And so yeah let's just kind of walk around and I can show you how I have things set up. So of course I have the electric assist. This is the Shimano Steps E8000. I've had this for three years. And in fact, there's really not much left on this trike that's original. Raina Anthony, Ben Up Cycles, did the transfer from one trike to this new frame. And the only, only parts that are original are the front wheels. And so on the left wheel, it's just a standard 20 inch. And then on the right, I have a dynamo hub built into the wheel and that is original. It will work with this new light that I have. And uh, yeah, it did a great job. It was a huge project. And uh, yeah, Raina Anthony did a great job with that. So I have two batteries, both under the seat. This is my side seat mount bag. So this is where I keep camera wallet, phone, anything that I need on for the day. On the back here I have a pump for my tubes. This is my handy cone so that I can lift the rear wheel when I need to do rear wheel flat repairs. Inside the cone I have my bulkier tools and then way in the front of it I have a cover for the seat. And then here is an insulated bag. It's a cooler bag. And I have um, hard boiled eggs, some berries for my oatmeal in the morning, and a Tupperware full of leftovers. I want to show you guys something about my helmet. So on the inside of my helmet, I keep a laminated piece of paper with my name, date of birth, blood type, allergies, medications, and emergency contact in case that is needed. You can see I've got three flags and a bunch of blinkies. This is one of my favorite blinkies. This one is very, very bright. And then I have two on each of these trike flag poles. And then on this side, I have my water bladder and inside there I keep my basic tools for flat repair. I keep the keys for my electric assist batteries and I also have a pump for the rear shock. This is a rock shock and I can pump it up with air. Um, I have a little more control over how hard or soft that shock is. In the back I have the roll off speed hub so I have 14 gears. And the reason why I have to have the trailer attached on the other side is because of this click box, cable box. It sticks out just a little bit more. I would have to have a lot of spacers and a longer quick release skewer. And then here is the roll off shifter. Uh, I love my roll off. My only regret is that I didn't get one earlier. I have a mirror on this side, one of these miracle mirrors, and this is where I keep my Garmin. On this side, this is the controller for the electric assist. In the rear rack bag, this is where I've always kept my drone, uh, which I'm keeping in the trailer at the moment. So I have cold weather gear, raincoat, rain pants, balaclava, 
waterproof socks. And I've also put my pillow in there. It's a little bit bulky. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of things that are gonna change as I go. I have, I don't know, can you see that? It says Myrtle the Turtle on it. I got that from Pat Franz. And then on the inside of the trailer, so obviously I have everything that I need in here. And so this is clothes, this is pantry, my drone, and then I have two extra batteries that I'm gonna, that are put just in front of the wheels on each side. And then on the back I have my electronics, my laptop, and uh, all my camping gear. And so, yeah, this is, this is working out really well. I'm sure things will shift and change as I go, but you know, it all fits. The only thing that's not in here is my toiletry case because I need that tonight. And I have um, put aside the clothes that I'm gonna wear tomorrow to start the tour and the clothes I'm wearing I'm gonna be leaving behind. All right, so I think this is all pretty exciting. Tomorrow is the big day. I start pedaling on Route 66. So yeah, you guys, see you out there. Thank you for watching. There are a number of ways that you can support the Moto Myrtle USA trike tour. My friend Andy O'Neill, a trike rider out of Southwest Missouri has put together a contact form, a database, and a website. And if you would like to join me on the tour, fill out the contact form. This will help me to schedule meetups and group rides as I go. He has also designed a donation page where you can give to my tour directly. So he's got a number of things that you can donate to, bike parts, bike repairs, food, accommodation, and you can give as much or as little as you would like. You can also become a member of my Patreon. You can join for as little as a dollar, and this is a subscription, and you can decide however much money you would like to donate every month to keep my tour rolling. Myrtle's merch store is also open and you can buy products like the hat that I'm wearing. There's cups and t-shirts, flags, water bottles, uh, a few items that you can purchase and I'll make a little bit of money from that. All of the links to these things are in the description of this video and every video and I really appreciate everybody who has already donated, bought products, become a member of my Patreon. Your support means so much. Thanks again.